and Chef Mark with Escafe Online, International Culinary Academy. Today we'll be discussing molecular gastronomy, which has been called mold gas by the participants. Molecular gastronomy is a sub-discipline of food science, and it seeks to investigate some of the practical use of the physical and chemical properties, kind of tweak them around and change them. Uh, it's been called the cuisine of deconstructivism, which means they deconstruct the dish and reform it into shapes you wouldn't recognize. So uh, it's an interesting part of modern cuisine. Some people call it modernist cuisine or the cuisine of deconstructivism. It's a difficult term in the culinary arts, but it's the way that people have, for a long time, used science to separate out flavors and actually break up and reconstitute uh, food to make it look different and to taste. Uh, it could be a roast beef, but actually looks like a pizza. So they kind of rearrange things around so that it's kind of unique. You can do molecular gastronomy at home or in a restaurant. A few things you must do is study up on molecular gastronomy and buy some of the scientific equipment that are needed for this. And that would be a uh, small, low temperature circulating water bath, uh, a vacuum machine, and pretty much you can be on your way to creating dishes um, that uh, are done by this method of cooking. What are some of the methods? Well, one of the methods that was practiced over 100 years ago by a, a British scientist was taking a leg of lamb and put it into an oven for eight and a half hours at 167 degrees Fahrenheit. So very slow cooking, and that's what a lot of catering businesses will use today. Uh, large volume feeding, where they wanted the same exact airline feeders, the same exact temperature is slow cooking, and that's one of the hallmarks of molecular gastronomy, is slow cooking of the meat. Usually it's seared off like a lamb rack, seasoned, and then it's put, put into a uh, vacuum seal, and then cooked very slowly, uh, 17, 19 hours at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So there is no shrinkage, uh, and uh, the, the yield is quite spectacular. And one of the benefits of that. 